Hey guys. Hey guys, what's up? Eddie Aho here with KissAnalog.com. All right, guys, I, I just want to show you some schematics I got on this uh, challenge. It's really exciting. I actually got four schematics. I got one that came in a little bit late, and I haven't really been able to go through them enough to see, you know, if if one's a lot better than the other one or more complete. Anyway, um, I think they all have a couple issues. I'm not sure, but... Uh, but anyway, I need to take a little time so I can kind of figure out who's the winners, okay? Uh, what I think I'm going to do, here, you know what, let's just jump over and let me show you these schematics. And if you're a member of the channel or a member of uh, Patreon, I'll send you the schematics so you can put them in your key spice and start playing with them, okay? So let's just jump over there and look at the schematics. All right, guys, so this is Wolverine 1, I'm calling it. So I just changed the name, just so that we're anonymous right now who did what. But here's one of the schematics. Looks complete, right? And here I can zoom in on, whoops. I can zoom in on the input circuitry here. Zoom out, I can zoom into this part. So, now, if I sit here, I can hit this little green button to run the simulation. Okay, so then I get this window and it did something. So, uh, V out. So now V outs, froze, you know, it looks like it's shooting up to 50 something volts. Now, if I come over here to the input circuit, to see what we're injecting. Okay, right there, that's what the voltage looks like at that point. And let's see, this one, this is what we call our ground. But see, ground is actually right here. So this is kind of a, a virtual ground, basically. It's got a voltage divider here, 2.2 ohm resistor. So there's a little bit, you know, a little resistor between these two grounds, okay? But yeah, there we go. And then if we come over here, we look at the signal here and so it looks like you know not really sure if I haven't really looked into this much and if I sit here is the simulation done running I think it's done running and it does say it had a fatal error down here okay so okay there's one circuit let's open up another one I'm gonna go ahead and close this all right, so I'm starting Key Spice again to open the second circuit. And look at this. Now it comes up with this quick start tips and it says start by looking at examples. I'd almost like to think they got that for me since that's why I'm always recommending to people. But don't know. <laughs> but anyway, there we go. Okay, so then, oh, and then look at this. Revision history. There's, you know, practically... It might be literally every day there's uh, updates. If I click on this, you can see 10, 9, 10, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. I mean, look at all those dates. Looks pretty sequential, right? Tells you all the things that they've done. So constantly updating, fixing things, improving things. So implemented the H Spice style BJT. So that's not a fix, that's just adding something. So yeah, there you go. So if I say okay, let's go ahead and update. All right, guys, so open circuit number two and look at all the statements over here, all the models and everything. This guy, pretty condensed. And again, I'll zoom in. Here, let me zoom in on the input circuitry and Zoom in on the output circuit over here. Okay, so, sorry, that uh, I used two fingers on my pad here to zoom in and out on this MacBook and sometimes it gets pretty sensitive. So let's go ahead and run this one. Let's see what this one looks like. All right, so click on 
Well, here, I'll zoom in so you can see what I'm doing. I'm going to click on VN right here. And it still simulating, looks like. Stretch this window open a little bit more. This one's, you know, 300 nanoseconds. So, uh, this one's running a little bit slower, right? Could be the models that are we're using. Not really sure. Guys, I haven't really spent time looking at all these uh, schematics yet, breaking it down. All right, so yeah, so this guy is still running. Seems like it's taken a little while. It's only got 700 nanoseconds. I haven't really taken the time to uh, look into these circuits to see which ones look more accurate or which models they've used or transistors or anything like that. So, um, whoops, let's fix that. Control Z. So anyway, uh, just kind of want to give you a, a look. Here's two of the circuits. Let's stop this and we'll go to another one. Okay, guys, and this is the one I call number three. So here you go. You can see it looks like the same schematic, just drawn a little bit um, expanded more than the other one. The other one's pretty condensed. And here's the input circuitry. You know what? Where we're here, let's go ahead and just simulate it. Okay, so I'm going to come over here and click onto this guy. All right, so that's what that one looks like. Kind of interesting, right? It's kind of offset. Looks like it's coming up here. And now this is a 2.2K resistor. I think the other one is a 2.2 ohm. So... I need to look at the schematic, see which one's correct, but uh, if this is supposed to be ground here, this might be a 2.2 ohm and the 2.2K might offset a little bit more. So, but yeah, like I said, really haven't delved into these schematics yet. Okay, let me show you the last one. All right, guys, and here's the last one. So this one has all the uh, information down here now there's a little dash line here because this person actually sent me three schematics sent me one of this input board which is IPS board and then one with the EF3 board out here okay and then in this schematic they combine them together let's go up and run this guy all right so I'm going to go ahead and zoom in on the input again and we'll just click on right there, I guess. And look at that. That looks pretty good. Now, here's a 2.2. I think that's supposed to be a 2.2 ohm, like I mentioned in the other schematic. That seems right to me. Whoops. Didn't mean to move that. And to move the schematic. Um, but yeah, so... Here, let's just go to the output and just see by chance if we're getting an output killer sine wave. Nope, it's kind of pegged. So I think I saw that in another one of those schematics. So anyway, seems to be an issue maybe with all three of these or all four of these guys so far, but not sure. I mean, um, now this one does have a warning using skip BP. Not sure what that warning is. Skip BP. I don't know if that's, yeah, not sure what that is. But yeah, I just wanted to show you the four schematics. And it's pretty amazing that, you know, that's a lot of work to put these schematics in. So yeah, we got to, you know, tip our hat to these guys. All right, guys. Now I meant to... Uh, I'm, I'm sorry I fell behind. I got sick, okay? I, I actually took a couple days off to do a couple mountain biking rides a couple weekends ago, and then got sick. And I was going to do a video announcing the the interview I was going to be doing. It was kind of a surprise interview for you guys. Um, it kind of fell through. It got delayed. 
And then it was going to be rescheduled last weekend, but I was still kind of sick and I wasn't sure if I could uh, pull it off. And as a contractor, you know, I had to stay home a couple days, meaning I didn't get paid. So that, that really sucks. So you really have to be sick to stay home and not get paid, right? Uh, I mean, it's not like I can afford to lose days like that. Uh, but anyway, uh, my days are 10 hour days. So that means I lose half a week. Um, I'd been out a couple of days. So anyway, I did go back to work one day and then I was supposed to go out of town last weekend and the friends we had, they were also sick, same cold. So we went anyway. We were all feeling a little bit better. So we all went and then in, um, we actually went on a mountain bike ride, my buddy and I on one day and that was pretty tough. <laughs> kind of tried to get over this cold and yeah that was pretty tough but anyway so i haven't been able to do videos because uh yeah this is about the best i've sounded for a while now and um and i just had no energy except i did do that mountain bike ride so that about killed me <laughs> anyway let me announce these four guys okay now i just numbered those schematics one two three four because i want you guys to tell me uh which ones look more complete if you could tell and uh, so I got Rodrigo in Brazil, I got Marcus in Florida, Kevin in Hawaii, and Matthew in Virginia. So big thumbs up to you guys. That's pretty amazing. You guys were able to do such a good job on those schematics. Now, you know, like I say, I, I got to spend a little time to see uh, how complete they are and that kind of stuff so I could pick the level winner. I'm tempted to look around and see if I have some uh, some multimeters or something like that that I can give one to each one of these guys. So I might end up doing that. I'm not saying that for sure. So you guys are still in the hook for three places, right? I got four guys. One of them actually sent it late. So but I'm going to send him something anyway. Um, and like I said, I might, I might change my mind and just make four first places. I don't know. Don't hold me to that yet. Because I got to see if I have four equal kind of gifts like that that I can uh, send out. Anyway, if nothing else, I'll do the gifts I, I talked about in the video when I announce this challenge. And I'll add something else to that fourth person who sent it in a little bit late. But still, got to send him something, right? Because... And th like I said, guys, when I did this challenge, uh, there's not a lot of competition usually. And if I would have got five or six, then I definitely would have stuck to choosing three of the best. But uh, since I got four, I think I'm going to uh, have at least two third places or a third and a fourth place and possibly boost up the gift values to all four of these guys. So we'll see. I'll let you know in the in another video what I'm sending out to these guys and that's when they'll find out too I guess but uh yeah sorry just been sick haven't had the energy and the time to to uh spend looking at my computer to try to figure out which ones I spent a little bit of time but you know when you're sick it's like it's hard to connect the dots <laughs> so hey thanks for watching guys and um by the way, I had somebody hit the super thank you button, and I was out of town when that happened. So I'm going to put their name right here. I wish I could tell you what it is right now. I have to go look it up because I'd like to give them a shout out. I'll, I'll give them a shout out in the next video, but I'll put their name here. They'll get, they'll get their name in two videos at least. So, all right, guys. Um, two thumbs up to my Patreons. Two thumbs up to the members of the channel. And really appreciate all you guys watching the video. What do you guys think of the challenge? Um, pretty cool. Now we got schematics for this Wolverine amplifier to simulate. And yeah. And uh, let me know and um, if you guys are interested in the schematics. And But yeah. I'll definitely make it available for the, the members and the Patreons. And so, and yeah. Maybe I'll give them a week start to start simulating playing with it i think we might do a follow-up challenge i gotta think about that but as far as in regards to that interview uh we're thinking about maybe doing it this weekend but 
uh, I wasn't sure because I just started being able to sound as, you know, like I could talk t like today. Like, I mean, I could talk, but not for any amount of time before I start going hoarse. So anyway, I uh, wasn't sure if I should follow through and do it this weekend or not. Still kind of, um, I'll find out how I feel in the morning. Okay. But so maybe this weekend we'll have that interview. If not, hopefully those guys will be good enough to, uh, Wait another week. <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.